Doubters, you guys are going to do wonders in the upcoming FMG exam on July 6th. You guys have did a wonderful job. A big applause for you all. Right now, just for upcoming few more hours, you are going to concentrate only on revisions. No negative thoughts. You guys are going to pass. Now, remember, as the pattern of the exam has been changed, you are going to fix the timings. Now, as we have known that there is going to be section A, B and C. Each section 50 questions to be solved in 50 minutes you are going to take the entire time 50 minutes to solve it perfectly and the moment you have done with section a do not even think about any of the questions or answers the focus should be completely on what on section b so and similarly it has to be for section c as well therefore the moment you have finished a section don't think about that part it's done what is done is done and do not judge the paper after the lunch you still have the main part to be paid in the afternoon as well so therefore do not worry about anything you are going to focus until the last minute of the exam and you guys will lock rock wish you guys all the best psychiatry delusions now tell what is delusion delusions it is going to be film fixed and unshakable false belief remember delusion is going to be firm fixed and unshakable false belief what is delusion of love called as it is called as what erotomania delusion of infidelity is called as othello syndrome and delusion of negation or nihilistic is called as court art syndrome please remember these three delusion of love delusion of infidelity and delusion of negation depression is actually the second most psychiatric disorder announced by who what are the symptoms of uh, depressions it is going to be sadness of mood loss of interest loss of energy loss of appetite and also loss of concentration these are all going to be question now as a doctor what you are going to prescribe the patient you are going to give ssri yes you may either prescribe floxetin sertraline or excitalopram i am going to read the question and you are going to answer within yourself and check whether it is correct or not now neurotransmitter involved in depression option a is it serotonin norepinephrine dopamine or d all the above think the answers yes it is going to be all the above good moving on to number 2 jet black pigmentation of tongue with tactile hallucination what is the answer option a whether it is heroin cocaine opium or alcohol what is the answer please try to comment yourself that is going to be cocaine good not a fundamental symptom of schizophrenia option a is it autistic thinking behavior association defect automatism or ambivalence remember it is not a fundamental symptom of schizophrenia answer is going to be automatism yes true about lithium i hope everybody has studied well about lithium you should be able to answer this let's revise what is it sir option a is this protein bound or narrow therapeutic index or delayed or safe renal what is the answer again think yourself it is going to be check your answers it is going to be narrow therapeutic index good double depression option a major depression with ocd major depression with dysthymia depression with anxiety or depression disorder for two months what is the answer it is going to be b negative symptoms of schizophrenia is all except option a over activity b apathy c anhedonia or d alogia what is the answer negative symptoms are all except over activity yes remember in panic attack which is commonly asked it is going to be sudden onset of chest pain along with palpitations as well <coughs> all are stages of death except option a anger b denial c bargaining d agitation what is the answer try to comment yourself it is going to be agitation very good now five stages of death are going to be coming with the mnemonic dab da remember dab da d is for denial a is for anger b is for bargaining d is for depression and a is for acceptance please remember dab da again d for denial a for anger b for bargaining d for depression and a is for acceptance very important from team dr batia we are all congratulating you for the upcoming exam you guys are going to do wonders in the exam all the best decrease in pleasure of activities that one enjoyed previously what is it called as it is called as anhedonia remember anhedonia good delusion is a disorder of what is the answer a perception b thought c affect or memory it is a disorder of 
thought. Very good. Obsessive compulsive disorder. It is going to be with repeated hand washing, fear of getting contaminated, and also repetitive checking behavior is going to be seen in obsessive compulsive disorder. Commonest emotional state is going to be not a symptom of panic attack. Is it sweating, tremors, palpitation, or suicidal thought? What is it? It is going to be. Suicidal thoughts. Good. Now, deficiency reason for cognitive impairment in old age. What is the answer? Let's look at the options. Is it vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin B6, or B12? What is the answer here? Try to comment to yourself. It is going to be vitamin B12. Good. Option D. Most common symptoms of alcohol withdrawal symptom. Most common symptom of alcohol withdrawal symptom. It is very common in India because. When you go to the OPD, of course, lots of patients will be coming with chronic alcohol disorders, and you are going to treat them. Our country has lots of sales via alcohol sales. There are lots of people who want to withdraw from alcohol, yet they suffer from certain symptoms, which are going to be tremor, hallucinations, and delirium. What is the question asked here? Most common symptoms. Remember, most common symptoms of alcohol withdrawal symptom is going to be. What is it? Try to comment to yourself. It is going to be. Tremor. Let's revise. Tremors are going to be seen within six to seven hours. Hallucination can be seen twelve to twenty-four hours, and delirium tremens, which has been commonly asked, is going to be after seventy-two hours, which is going to be between forty-eight to seventy-two hours. There was one time where the examiner asked after seventy-two hours. Very important. Good. What is going to be seen? Delirium tremens. Yes. Pregnant woman was given lithium. Her child may develop what is Chain anomaly very important. Pregnant female with bipolar disorder presented for treatment, which should be avoided. Option A: lithium. B: lamotrigine. C: risperidone or allopurinol. It is going to be lithium. Very good. Uncontrolled sexual desires in men is called as satyriasis. Yes. Uncontrolled sexual desire in female is going to be called as nymphomania. Please remember nymphomania and satyriasis. Patient believes his thoughts are controlled by other external agency. It is going to be delusion of influence. Antipsychotic with least metabolic side effects. It is going to be chlorpromazine. Yes. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Examples are going to be trauma such as after an earthquake, floods, or car accident. Yes. The patient may develop what vivid flashbacks. Yes. And he or she may also have nightmares and also anhedonia. Anhedonia is going to be lack of interest in the previously pleasurable activities. Very good. For PTSD, we are going to give SSRI and also CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. So, doctors, we have concluded most of the subjects revisions, and also you guys have been studying hard for the past six months. Now it is the time to relax, stay focused, meditate. Whatever you have studied is all going to be in your subconscious mind. Now, again, once again, once you finish the section, you are not going to think about the section anymore. You are going to focus on the next one. Secondly, remember, you are not going to change any options. Not more than two or three. That two after the proper verifications. Because most of the time, people tend to change options in the last minutes. Please don't do that. And if your instinct says that this could be the answer, then just go for it. If you are not very clear about it, believe your instinct because it is something subconscious mind which is giving the answer or maybe. Be your guardian angel. You guys are going to definitely pass this time. Keep smiling, be happy, and you will do wonders in the exam. Wish you guys all the best from Dr. Araraj and the team. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.